Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Coloristy Carol. It was always you and you are my most favorite. I've started off with Baby Girl Lacquers Glitter Be Gone and here is Coloristy Carol. You are my most favorite. What a pretty curly. And then we've got Coloristy Carol. It was always you. I'm loving these. So we're going to go in with our first coats. Look how gorgeous this hot pink is. I mean, such a pretty polish. I was in the mood for some pink. I mean, and this one hit the spot. Beautiful coverage on that first coat. I'm going to go ahead and cap that free edge there. Love it. Beautiful formula. And then we're going to go in with the curly one. Oh, it's just so pretty. And I don't get just a ton of the glitters out. I didn't shake it up real good or hang it upside down or anything. I'm not really worried about it on this first coat. So we will, we'll work on that one here in a minute with the second coat. So here we go with our second coats. I mean, this polish is just a dream to work with. I'm so pleased with my purchase. And these polishes were from the Valentine's Day Trio from this year. I had to have them. <laughs> had to. So I'm building up that second coat on the Krilly. And I am getting a little bit more of the glitters. But I want all the colors. I want. So I'm going to try to do some dabbing. There we go. I'm going to turn that wand around. I saw that purple one there that I could use. And I'm going to put a little bit out on my little palette stone so that I can dig some of these glitters out and do some glitter placement. I don't show it real good on camera, but I'm just digging some out and applying them where I want them. And there we go. I'm going to get another one there. So there we go. I'm going to top it all with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Get it to dry down. Oh, that's just so much fun right there. Uh, love a glossy top coat. I'm a glossy top coat girl. I'm getting those covered up. Keeping that free edge. I'm going to do the same with the other nails. All of them are getting the top coat. Really, really liking this. I've just kind of started falling for the curly mixes with the glitters in them and stuff. There we go, and here's a swatch photo of them on their own. I'll be using yours, and this is YS07, and then Maniology's Lilac Clouds. I've got my Bundle Monster Maniology Stamper, that monocle stamper, and my beautiful scrapper from Beauty Big Bang. So I was really drawn to these images down here on the bottom of this I like that they're kind of mirrored images, so we're gonna we're gonna play with them today and see what we can come up with. So I'm gonna use this one on the snail, and I will have to admit that as soon as I saw this manicure done, oh, I'll tell you what I thought about it here in a minute. First, I've got a problem. See, the struggle bus is still around. Um, that one didn't take all the way, so I'm going in with a piece of tape and removing that stamped image. I'm able to do this because that nail polish was super dry, and so we're going to go with this again. It doesn't always work, but I do like it when it does. So I'm going to pick that image up, and instead of fooling around with cleaning it up, I'm going to hop right on into it. And there we go. Success, yes. So I'm going to do the mirror image on the nail next to it, the other pink nail, middle fingernail. And okay, now I'll tell you what I think it looks like. It reminds me, I don't know why, but it reminds me of like the Cheshire Cat from like Alice in Wonderland. This image just was screaming that to me. I don't know why. Some crazy stuff, but that's what I kept seeing in my head. So I've decided to use this wild image right here on my thumbnail because it is also painted pink like the other ones. And I'm sorry I'm out of frame. There we go. 
and I'm cleaning that plate with pure acetone. I'm gonna wipe it with a paper towel. And there we go. I'm gonna go in with a piece of tape here and get up some of this excess polish from around my nails. And it's coming up really well. I always love it when it works out like that. But I am gonna go in with my cleanup brush and my acetone with some acetone additive some real quick cleanup there very easy cleanup not a whole lot to mess with I'm gonna to top it with the maniology smudge free top coat so that I'm not smearing that design and then we're gonna to top it with the posh and it will be finished it'll be done so I hope you really enjoyed this one it was an easy simple one not too crazy off the hook um, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. Cut that free edge again. And here is my swatch photo. And that is it for me today. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.